Dennis Jones, I partner with GamerFusion.com, and I currently do walkthroughs and reviews for them, uh, mostly for Nintendo 3DS titles. Currently I'm working on Project X-Zone, or Project Cross-Zone rather, for the Nintendo 3DS. And uh, the way I'm able to do that, actually, I don't use a camera to capture the screen. What I use instead is a 3DS capture card that I got off of a website. And I'll throw the link to the description to that down below. I, can't remember, I think the name of the website is 3DS Capture. Um, this is the unit right here. It is actually one of my old 3DS's. I, yeah, I recently purchased a 3DS XL and figured I would send this away to get the, uh, the capture card on it. Basically, as you can see, there's an extra plate on the bottom with a USB port and that's what connects to the, uh, to the computer to capture the gameplay. And I'm going to show you my setup for that. Uh, actually, I did do a setup video earlier when I first unboxed the, the 3DS with the capture card put into it. Uh, but that, that video is kind of rubbish <laughs> because I've found a, another way of a new setup. I found it. I discovered a new setup that I think works a little bit better. Um, if you were thinking that I uh, capture the video with a camera, I I don't do that. But I have found a rather good instructional video on how to do that. If you can't afford to get a 3DS capture card, it is a fair amount of money. I think mine was close to around three hundred dollars Canadian. Um, yeah, and, that, and it's just me sending in my old 3DS to them. You can also buy them with them built in, buy a three, whole 3DS with a uh, capture card built in, and that's probably, that was like almost twice that amount. So anyway, I'll show you, I'll put that description, that link in the description below. So I guess, to start off with the old setup. First, what I would do is, of course, attach the USB cord to the back of the 3DS, like so. And put it into the computer. Now, this USB, micro USB cord came with the 3DS capture card when I unboxed it. So. There we have it. Now, with that link, with that uh, connection, you get a direct video input to you get a direct video input to the computer. And so, another thing, another thing we need to plug in is a long headphone jack, a long headphone cord with a filter a noise filter, this goes into, of course, the uh, headphone jack of the uh, 3DS. Make sure that's getting there good and tight. Now what I did in my old setup is I picked up a pair of uh, headphone splitters and this, I would plug the one cord that is connected to the three to the three DS to one of them. Oops. And and the other, I would plug in a pair of headphones or a headset. My what I found out the hard way from doing some other videos is that when you do this you pick up a little bit of your voice on the video track that's being captured by the computer. So I've actually decided, figured out a different way to do that, so I'm not going to use these at all anymore. They are going away because they're rubbish.
Well, they'll be, uh, they are useful for what you need it to do. But what you really need to do is instead plug in the audio jack to the mic input of your computer. Like so. So, but you won't be able to hear your, uh, your gameplay through your speakers. Not until you do something on your computer. And I'll show you what that is in just a moment. Now, I did miss a step um, when I was telling you about plugging in. You actually shouldn't plug in your DS until you download the driver from uh, 3dscapture.com. Uh, yeah, there's this, here's a little bit another look at the site, I guess. Here is the uh, where you order. Yeah. And currently they are sold out, unfortunately, but uh, that's probably because of the demand is really high right now. So, uh, yeah. Any hoozles? So you need to download both the software and the driver. The software is what's used to capture the 3DS. Yeah. And that that will bring over a download. I've already downloaded it, so you don't. I don't have to do it. But this is where you would you would do it. It's a zip archive. And for the driver, actually, I'm not even really sure if Windows 7 needs one or not. But uh, check the troubleshooting and forum just be just be sure. All right. So now that that's. Now that you've got that downloaded and installed to your computer, and you power up your 3DS and plug it in, and get it, and uh, get the uh, yeah, get the things going, I guess. Um, one thing you would like, to, one thing that will be helpful to you in recording it recording your game is to be able to listen to the game. You can't hear it unless you put a headphone splitter in or if you do this, you go to your sound and pick up recording and I have it plugged into the front mic. So you click on it and hit your properties and toggle over to listen. Check the box that says listen to device. Hit apply and yeah, we can hear the game on our on our speakers, which is what we want. And then we can just open up the 3D capture program, and there it is. Yeah, it looks like I have a bit of frame droppage, but not too badly might be because of the uh, program I'm using to capture uh, <laughs> the desktop. I use Fraps, which is this program here, and it works much better than uh, this other program I'm using right now, which is which is, uh, I think it's called A-Power, yeah, A-Power Soft. This is the program that I use or it's rather, it's the website that I use. And, so yeah. Doing it this way, you get a direct video input and a direct audio input to, to, your, to your DS capture. Now, I'll show you how I do my commentary afterward. And, yeah, now I'll show you how I set up my commentary. Now, the way I do my commentary is that I have a secondary computer, um, my MacBook, <laughs> which is what I bought when I first went to, to university uh, back in the day. And then I picked up the other uh, computer halfway through university. Oh, student loan money. Hurrah! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I use a, either a headset or its onboard microphone. 
Actually, I find its onboard microphone is really good, but I'll show you the setup for a headset anyway. So, most Macintoshes need a specific need specific head, so, headsets to go on to them. You can't just pick up a, a headset. You have to make sure it's Mac compatible. And most Mac compatible uh, headsets come with a device like this one. Where it goes into the where there's a USB port and a port for both your mic and your headphones. So you just simply plug it in. My headset is a Logitech brand name. I don't remember the model number. It actually isn't mine. It's actually my wife's, and it works really good. But uh, that's what it looks like. The mic is very nice on it. It hardly picks up any exterior noise except for your own voice, which is what we want in this case. Especially if you have a house full of noisy people, which actually we don't. So what I would do is plug the mic input to there, and sometimes, well actually what I would mostly do is take use the, an extension cable to the headphone jack here for the headset and put it into the headphone jack of my other PC so I can listen to the gameplay. And I guess I'll show you how that connects. So here I have in the extender the the female end goes into here. And then the other one goes into my PC. And that's how the headset works. Okay. Well, for some reason, your uh, headset doesn't show up on uh, on your recording device then just go to system settings system preferences rather and go to sound check the output and input right now output is the internal speakers you want your input to be your Logitech and that's how you can do capturing with a headset on your Mac. There's lots of other ways to do it, but this, uh, how I like to do it is I prefer not to use a headset and just listen with regular headphones on my Mac PC and just record myself as I play. Once I'm done recording, I take the files and, and put them onto my PC here and I open up my favorite video editing software, which in my case is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, yes, got that from student loan money as well. <laughs> and uh, there's, but you don't have to, there's many different other kinds of video making programs out there. Uh, there is Sony Vegas, which is a very good one. And I think there's a home edition of Premiere but I'm not sure where to get that from. <laughs> but anyhow, I, I wouldn't use iMovie or Windows Media Maker because those Windows Media Make, Video Maker, I think is what it's called, they don't have any options for piecing together things. Roxio is okay, but I'm not really, I, yeah, I never liked using it because it's editing software is a little bit touchy and you have to yeah, it's it's not real time editing, which I prefer. Um, so yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching, and take a look at the links in the description below for uh, Blunty's video on how to capture or how to record game screens. There, he uh, talks about recording tablets and 3DSs and PlayStation Vitas. With, uh, with a camera, a 
uh, yeah, with just using a camera on the system and a bunch of lights. He tells you the best way to do that. And also the link in the description for the 3DS capture card, where to get one. Or you can use Google Foo. <laughs> yeah, Google Foo, the master of searching on the web, the mastery of searching the internet. For, uh, for things. <laughs> and yeah, this is how I do my setup. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming, and have a good day. Bye.